In Barangay Maayong Tubig Dawin, after a 30-minute bus ride and a 5-minute habal-habal adventure ride from Dumaguete City, one will find a silent sanctuary that is home to the Philippines' most iconic plant, the pliant bamboo. The Bambusa Colabo, a community of highly skilled bamboo master craftsmen, was founded and is run full-time by Herbie Teodoro and his wife in Inn. Bambusa Colabo is already three years now. And uh, it started when um, my uh, husband's grandmother, Rose Teodoro, started this foundation, the Philippine Bamboo Foundation. Bambusa Colabo started out with a couple's common desire to start fresh and create a sustainable business venture that would, more than anything, benefit those that lived in the area. So it involves the planting, to, you know, the development of bamboo, furniture making, um, handicrafts, stuff like, stuff like that. Herbie and In In picked the bamboo because aside from being one of the most iconic of Filipino plants, it is also one of the most underrated of all the Philippines' natural resources. According to Mam In In, the Bamboo Sakolabo Farm has more or less 17 bamboo varieties. Two of the top varieties are the Kawayang Tinik and the Chinese bamboo. The Kawayang Tinik, which is endemic to the country and is very durable, can be used for furniture and for building houses. Chinese bamboo can be effectively used as a sound barrier to block out the noise from surrounding areas. Bamboo is a renewable and sustainable resource. So it means you build all these beautiful furniture, all these beautiful handicrafts as you can see here, ukuleles, guitars, houses, many different things. And yet you're not killing the plant, you know? The plant survives, the plant's just there. It's actually helping the plant when you cut it because it's like pruning it, it's like cutting your hair. Oh. So it's making the plant grow better. Oh. So it's a win-win situation for both, for the plant and for you. At the moment, Bambusa Colabo houses almost 30 craftsmen and their families. One of their most seasoned workers is Manung Wilvin. Ako si kawayan Dagan kasi mahimo, pwede sa mga gitara, mga small items, mga bambu organ, mga yubulili, na agad ni payong na na biya sa kawayan, uh, dagahan tayo paagi. Mas likun, pas maugani katong gulang ang gamito. Kanya di siya mabalik, hindi siya yung mabalik ba? Likun siya. Manong Wilvin is living in the Bambusa Colabo grounds with his wife and two kids with his eldest in elementary school. Ang pagtapang niya, isip burag niya, burag yun, isip rin niya aming pamilya. Mam in in imparts that the secret to and proof of their success is seen in their work ethic and in the atmosphere of love that surrounds the whole Bambusa community. You take care of your people because when you take care of your people, it means that they love their work more and they have a sense of ownership on the things that they do. So it also transcends to the quality of the products. If they love the work, their work, they make better products. So you can sell it more. At the moment, Bambusa Colabo maintains a Facebook account, among other forms of online presence. Sir Herbie, however, is not a big believer of full-blown marketing. He believes instead in action, results, and the word of mouth. Bambusa continues to make a difference by being one of the frontliners in rebuilding the schools destroyed by the Bohol quake. As Bambusa Colabo continues to grow, Sir Herbie and Mam In In hope for two things. First, for Filipinos to revive their love for resources that are truly Pinoy, and second, for their son Karma to grow up like a bamboo and like the Filipino race, with kaleidoscopic versatility and unwavering resilience.